In Japan, they take the concept of fandom to a whole new level. If something's popular, there's more than likely a ton of themed restaurants, theme parks, any kind of merch you can imagine. If the Japanese people love something, they really love something. And one of the most popular properties in Japan are their superhero TV shows. And my favourite is the one that started them all, Kamen Rider. <laughs> This TV show tells the story of Cayman Rider, a superhero that rides around on a dirt bike in a grasshopper helmet kicking the shit out of Kaiju. It's fucking awesome and it's one of my favourite TV shows of all time. It's also one of the first of its kind. Before this, most Kaiju were giant titan mountain size fighting Godzilla, Jet Jaguar and Ultraman and that kind of thing. But Cayman Rider brought the Kaiju fighting action very much to street level. It kicked off the entire second generation of the Kaiju boom. You don't get to Power Rangers and Super Sentai without Cayman Rider. It first kicked off in 1971 and since then there's been a ton of all different Cayman Riders. A new generation coming out every few years. And then every few years we also get a sick team up episode where all the old Cayman Riders will all unite together to fight one common enemy. That enemy usually being Shocker. Shocker is the bad guy that Cayman Rider fights and every single week they'd produce a big fucking crazy monster that Cayman Rider would have to fight in some kind of quarry or a desert. <laughs> Like I said, it's one of my favourite TV shows of all time. It's fucking awesome, I love it. And when I found out in Japan there was something called Cayman Rider the Diner, we had to go and check that shit out. <laughs> So we jumped on a train and headed to a place in Tokyo called Ikebukuro. So we're just walking through Ikebukuro station, <laughs> trying to find a Cayman Rider <laughs> diner. Let me start again. So we're just walking through Ikebukuro station, I think that's how you say it, in Tokyo. Um, a place that I fuck up the name pretty much every time I try and pronounce it. All the way around Ikebukuro, what's it called? Ik Ikebukuro. Ik Ikebukuro. <laughs> <laughs> now it wasn't easy to find as always I'm looking on Google Maps trying to find where this place is and after a bit of walking around I see this big massive poster in a frame outside in red Cayman Rider the Diner with Cayman Rider 1 doing a rider kick fucking awesome we're here so we found it after a load of messing about what throws you off is it says it's just next to Ikekaburu station, but then there's two Ikekaburu stations, one for the metro, one for the train, but yeah man, fourth floor. Now even though there's a big poster outside, it's not like obvious where this place is. A lot of places in Japan are stacked on top of each other. It's really, really stacked. It's like Lego. It's like you'll have a, a wedding shop and then a restaurant and then a painter and decorators and then a Cayman Rider diner. So it's proper random. No two things stacked on top of each other are ever, are ever similar or of the same genre or of the same type of fucking place. But downstairs was a very helpful woman who got in the lift with us and she went all the way to the top to show us how to get to the diner. <laughs> Another crazy thing about Japan is if you ever get lost and you ask someone in a store, like where is the ATM, where is 7-Eleven, that kind of thing, not only, will they, not only will they show you where the place is, they'll also like leave their place of work, walk all the way down the street and show you. They're just so nice in Japan. It's one of the reasons why I always come back really fucking zen. That's so helpful. I can't believe she just came and took us all the way to the lift. Oh, it's just through here. Hold on, I'll get the lift for you. I'll press the floor. So we get out of the lift and boom, I see it. Red, black and chrome everywhere. I'm seeing Shocker logos. I'm seeing Cayman Rider logos. We got there. This is the place. I can't wait to fucking get in and check it out properly. Let's eat some Cayman Rider diner grub scram. Straight away, as always, you're greeted by very friendly staff and I'm just seeing merchandise everywhere. There's also projector screens playing Cayman Rider episodes with the music playing Come in, Rider! Come in, Rider! 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 I'm here, I've arrived, I'm at my favourite TV show ever's themed restaurant and I'm ready to fucking see what they've got on offer to eat. Soon as we sat down, we were given like a little shot glass with a red and green little flavoured popcorn in it. Why? Fuck knows why, because it's Japan, that's why. Get a stack of Cayman Rider Amazon onion rings. 
Now, a big thing about Japan is they're not very good at catering to vegetarians yet. Myself and Claudia are what you call a pescatarian, but then we're not even really a pescatarian because we only eat very certain types of fish. I don't eat crabs or lobsters or fucking octopuses or mussels or anything like that, just certain types of fish. So you have to be careful when you're going into these places to make sure you don't order the wrong thing. But if you eat meat and you're normal, then you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> oh, cool, look at that. Came around a Kabuto. What is it? <laughs> And the menu is fucking awesome. Every single thing that you're looking at is Cayman Rider themed. If it's pasta, if it's noodles, if it's a pizza, it's somehow Cayman Rider themed. The way they thought all these up is fucking genius. I will pay, like, double price for any meal if it's in the shape of Cayman Rider's fucking head. And I'll be honest, there wasn't too many vegetarian options available, but I didn't come here for that. I came here for the whole vibe of the building and I'm not disappointed. So we went for the Kamen Rider Amazon onion rings, which was like just a stack of onion rings, but then next to it was some tomatoes and a tortilla in the shape of Kamen Rider Amazon's helmet and some classic Kamen Rider fries. Then we went for a couple drinks, so I got a Kamen Rider W cocktail, which was some kind of like vodka alcoholic cocktail, and then there were two straws to look like Kamen Rider's antenna, and then you got two little juices, one purple and one green, and you squeeze them in and it turned into Kamen Rider's W's face, half green, half purple. And then original Kamen Rider, like kind of cocktail soda float thing that had like a ball of ice cream in it, and I think it had two cherries with a straw, with a little uh, ribbon on the straw to look like Kamen Rider's fucking scarf, sick. Cheers to, to Kamen Rider. So we're just having a little yam and I'm looking around at all the different stuff that's on display in there. They've got walls that are like bubbling with fucking liquid proper super villain shit. And in the middle is a shocker throne, a big golden shocker throne. Left and right of it in glass cabinets are two full size original costumes of Kamen Rider 1 and Kamen Rider 2. So fucking sick to see this thing close up. When I went to the Godzilla store and you've got Mecha Godzilla's helmet in the glass, like that was awesome. This is just as awesome. To see those helmets close up and to see the antennas are just made out of little car aerial wires. So fucking in ingenuitive, what ingenious. It's fucking sick. So got plenty of footage of that. They've also got cabinets that's just full of all random merchandise and toys and a display of every single Cayman Rider ever. Now it's time for a little bit of dessert and we order a Cayman Rider Denno themed train gato. And it was just a chocolate gato tarted up to look like Denno's train, but I fucking loved it. They've also got like a whole row of Bandai toys. I don't really collect Bandai, but while I were there, I wanted to pick one up, so I went for Kamen Rider Decade. And I like Decade because he was like a celebration of all the Kamen Riders that came before him, and he used to jump in and out of portals to different Kamen Rider worlds and bring different characters through and that kind of thing. So I thought he were a nice fitting one to pick up while I were there. And as I were leaving, they also gave us two little chopstick rests and some coasters with Kamen Rider symbols on them. Before leaving, I drew a little picture of Cayman Rider and wrote thank you and put it in their suggestion box just to say thank you for running such a fucking sick little diner. You've proper got to appreciate that the people that run these are fans and they run by fans for fans. This isn't just another tourist attraction. It's not like a maid cafe where there's girls out on the street trying to get you to come in and spend money. This is up like so many flights of stairs in the middle of nowhere in a building that you'd never see if you didn't want to go out and look for it. Over here in England, unless it's really football, you're going to struggle to keep anything going that's themed anything. But out there in Japan, they can have these places and people go to them. And we were lucky enough to go on like a weekday in the daytime when it weren't that busy. But this place, I saw from the photos on the wall, it gets busy. People out there fucking love Cayman Rider. They love the stuff that they're a fan of and they'll really put money back into it to keep this shit alive. Kamen Rider is such a big part of Japanese culture. It rivals Ultraman as one of the biggest TV shows of all time, and I fucking love it so much. Yes, it's not perfect. Yes, it's rough around the edges. It's dudes in suits fighting. But do you know what? In this day and age where everyone is such an obnoxious fucking wannabe know-it-all big head, and so many people think things are lame, and everyone's so quick to just diss stuff and take the piss out of it and say that it's shit, sometimes you've just got to kick back and just enjoy some fucking kaiju. <laughs> Yeah. 
I think places like this are really important. I think it's important that we embrace things that are fun and cool and things that are created purely to put a smile on our face and give us enjoyment. <laughs> And growing up as a weird kid that were into stuff that nobody else understood and never really felt like I fit in, Cayman Rider was something that I could always take comfort in watching. So me going to Tokyo and eating onion rings and fries and drinking cocktails in the shape of Cayman Rider helmets was so fucking awesome and it's a memory that I'll treasure forever. I really hope that after this video, if you've never heard of Cayman Rider, you go on YouTube and watch some. And if you're ever in Tokyo and find yourself in a little place called Ikebukuro, maybe you can go and eat onion rings at the Cayman Rider diner. Or other stuff. So after walking all the way around Ikagabuk... <laughs> <laughs>